Hi, I'm Shauna. I'm here with Carson today. Let's see if he'll give you a little close-up. Here's Carson, and he's just getting his Reiki today. And I thought I would tell a little story, um, just a little inspirational story that happened to me this morning while I do his Reiki. He's a pretty healthy guy, just a minute of background. Um, he's about two years old. I've had him since he was born here because I adopted his mama and she was pregnant. We didn't know it at the time, but she ended up being pregnant. So he was born here and he's pretty healthy, but he does have chronic inflammation uh, around his sinuses. He'll get some infections, but even when there's no infection, he just has kind of irritated sinus system. So I do things to beef up his immune system and just keep him feeling better, keep him healthy. And so he's getting his Reiki, which is part of his little routine. And the story that I wanted to share was that um, it happened this morning. And I live in Pennsylvania. We're in the middle of a long duration snowstorm. They're estimating one to two feet. <laughs> so you don't wait until the end to go out and, and clear things. You go out every couple hours and people are shoveling and snow blowing and doing their thing. So I've been here about six years and normally my neighbor's, uh, my neighbor's son, who's probably in his thirties, he would normally be out there with his snowblower and I would have my shovel and we'd be doing our clearing and he would keep his head down, avoid eye contact, be real brief in and out doing his sidewalk, go right up to the line of where the, the division was between the neighbors and run right back in. And you could tell that he didn't want anyone to ask him for help because he was the guy with the snowblower. And that's fine. Other people would help each other out and I was doing just fine with my shovel. But this year is actually the first year I do have a snowblower and it really does help. It makes a big difference. Um, but I was doing my clearing and he was out too. And at first it was the usual head down, no eye contact. You know, I, I usually smile and kind of look up just in case he wanted to look that day, but it was, it was a no go at first. But then I went down the street a little bit to clear uh, an elderly neighbor. I wanted to make sure he had his sidewalk clear and at least a pathway from his door to the mailbox. So I did that and when I was coming back, I saw this neighbor's son um, clearing my sidewalk and going down my driveway. And I was shocked. I just looked at him with my eyes open wide and he looked at me, he made eye contact. I gave him a big thank you. He smiled, smiled probably for the first time that I've ever seen him smile in the six years that I've lived here. And it was just a really cool experience because one, he was doing a nice thing and that's always appreciated. And I, I had gratitude. Um, whether I had a snowblower or not, I had gratitude that he was helping. But what was even bigger was that I felt the connection and I felt that he, he felt like, he felt, <laughs> everybody was feeling stuff this morning. No, I, I could tell that he felt what it felt like to be kind. So see, see if we can follow that. Because the, the person that's doing the kind act benefits just as much or more than the person that they're helping. And that's, I believe that's what makes it contagious. And when you hear stories of people paying it forward and being inspired by something and then going out and, and doing something themselves, that's the kind of thing that it really lifts me up. And I think it lifts a lot of people up. And that's why I wanted to share it today. Cause it was just, it's one of those things where you go every day and you, and you're used to a certain reaction but then when you're you're pleasantly surprised and you just have that you know that good feeling and it just kind of lifts you up for the day and you want to share it so and Carson is talking up a storm i think he liked the story too did you like the story no oh, yeah you like the story and i think Carson is uplifted and he might go do something kind today actually maybe he'll uh push a little piece of hay through the bars to his neighbor girls that he lives next to and uh, do, do something kind for them today. Does that sound like a good idea, Carson? <laughs> you can be a good neighbor and share your hay. So I hope everybody will take this story, go do something kind for someone else. And just remember that what you do makes a difference. It matters. It 
it'll lift you up and it'll lift up the person that you're helping as well. So have a good day, everybody.